All right, guys. That day has come. Seven months after being in Indonesia, uh, I'm saying goodbye for this year. You know, been here for seven months, and so I'm time. I'm ready to go somewhere else. Ready to go uh, see some other places. Uh, the plan. Am I going the right direction? No. Yeah, maybe I am. Okay. Uh, Pay attention. So I'm going home for the holidays. Man, I'm going to go home for Thanksgiving. I'm going to go home for Christmas. And so that leaves me about a month and a half. And so I just figured I've been in Indonesia for seven months. Let's try to go see some new places before I have to go home for, you know, a couple months to see family and friends. You know, you can't blame me for that, right? I know a lot of you guys want to see me. Explore more of Indonesia, but Indonesia is not going nowhere. And, you know, I got nothing but time. So, from here, we're going to go to Singapore. Uh, I'm going to stay with uh, one of my subscribers. A guy named Daniel reached out to me and said, Hey, you can stay with me and my Indonesian wife. And so, I'm going to do that. Thank you, Daniel. Looking forward to meeting you. Um, it's F1 Formula Grand Prix weekend, so that should be exciting. Hopefully I can see some, uh, some cool stuff there. Hello. Hello, sir. You need this? Yes, all right. That's it? Yeah. Okay. All right, check it out. The Horizon Fast Boat Ferry. This thing costs $40. I think it should only take about an hour to get over to Singapore. Uh, yeah, let's get on this thing. Yeah. Or anything like that. This, yeah, this looks like a nice seat. Uh, I think I'm gonna go see a little bit more of Malaysia from here, Singapore. I'm right next to Johor. I can do Johor, Malacca. Maybe skip Kuala Lumpur this time because I've already been there. Maybe go up to Penang, Georgetown. And then... Alrighty. Welcome to Singapore. Man. I might have left Indonesia, but I think Indonesia is trying to tell me, you might have left me, but a part of me is still in your belly. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I need to find a, find a toilet really pretty quick. All right. I think that's Daniel. I think that's Daniel. Hey! I'm good, man. Nice Daniel, to meet Daniel. you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Sorry to keep you waiting. No worries. This is my wife, Agnes. Hello. Agnes. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you for letting me stay with you. Yeah. And excited. Excited. <laughs> excited. Okay. Right. Looks like they have a little bit of everything, huh? Yeah. Western chicken rice. Okay. Okay. First thing we got to do is get some food in the belly. All right. Come to a little food court here. Let's see here. Maybe I can put my stuff down. All right, I just met Mon here in the uh, food cart here, and he said he's a fan of the channel. Nice to meet you, man. Thank hey. you. Awesome. All the best. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All righty. So I think we made it to Daniel's house. And uh, we're gonna go check out the house that he grew up in. So, gonna meet the whole family. Should be fun. Thousands. I mean, I didn't show you when we were coming in here, but. Maybe one level that there's uh, 10 houses. 10 houses on one level? I mean, we're kind of in the residential area. I mean, there's, I don't know, I couldn't even count all the buildings, all the blocks. And uh, they all look like this. I like how they stick uh, poles out of their windows to hang up their clothes. Mm -hmm. 
the Mali guy, the Mali guys. We're at the Mali guys residence. Awesome. Hello. Sorry, I'm not into. Okay, okay. My name is Nick. Hello. Come back. Come back. Uh, can you, can you bike. 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 Dan anda? Bagus. Bagus. <laughs> saya bertamu, oh, saya senang bertamu dengan anda. Terima kasih. <laughs> Thank it's, it's you. It's okay anyway, uh, we are English speaking anyway, it's okay. If you cannot speak Indonesia, it's okay. Okay. Well, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll try my best. I'll try yeah, my you best. want to practice your own then okay, you have Indonesia then. Okay. You're okay. <laughs> bilingual. Yeah, yeah. I'm happy to be here. Yeah, but so sorry, we give you this room. Oh, you can give me the floor. I'll be happy. But there's no account for this room. Okay. But we, but we that's, that's fine. Then. That's fine. That's fine. Let me. <laughs> this is interesting, though. Is this a uh, Singaporean thing? Uh, you can call it. You can find it in Indonesia also. Indonesian too, yeah. Yes. I like how their kitchen opens up right here. I mean, from inside to outside, right here. You call, it you call it a Michael Jackson. Black and white. Black and white. Interesting. Thank you. <laughs> the Michael Jackson. <laughs> oh yeah, soy soy milk. Mm. Not bad. I like it. It's good. <laughs> yeah. Okay. This was not nice. All right, so got all checked into Daniel's place and uh, had a nice conversation with his parents and such nice people. Had a little bit of a nap and uh, we're about to get out and I asked Daniel if there are any like kampongs or anything like really local in Indonesia, or Indonesia in Singapore. And he said there's there's one uh, kampong left in Singapore and so we're going to go check that out now. So. Let's go see what a kampung looks like in modern Singapore. All right, does it go back in there or this way or? Go back in here? Okay. All right, so we just made it to what I think is the last kampung in Singapore. You know, before I came to Singapore, I didn't really know much about Singapore. You know, I don't think a lot of people from the United States, from around the world, really know a whole lot about Singapore. You know, if I asked my friends if they could even pick Singapore out on a map, they probably couldn't do it. And when I was living in Japan, I had a lot of friends who would come to Singapore. And I would always ask them, you know, like, what's Singapore like? And they're like, oh, it's kind of like Tokyo. It's, it's just super nice. It's super developed. Uh, a lot of malls and, you know, high-rise apartments and all that kind of thing. And I was like, well... I always wonder, like, what is the local life like, you know? Like, what about the people uh, who aren't living in all those high-rise apartments and everything? Like, what is that like? I always wondered. It's the last kampong, and, you know, it's pretty quiet. It's chill. <laughs> uh, I haven't been to any kampongs in Malaysia. I spent most of my time in, uh, in Kuala Lumpur, like in the city, so I didn't get to see much. But, you know, I was just always curious, you know, what is uh, local life like in Singapore? And you don't really see a whole lot of it, I guess, you know, it's, you don't see a whole lot of this. Hello? It's an old village. An old village, huh? Yeah. The last village, I mean, it's nice though. I mean, it's, uh, I can only imagine how old these houses are. Uh, but just driving through Singapore right now, I mean, all you see is high-rise uh, apartments and flats. And, I mean, you're just right up here. You're surrounded by, uh, by tall buildings. Super modern, you know. I read Singapore has 
the best infrastructure in the world. And so, you know, I guess they didn't make it in here. <laughs> but I'm sure a part of it, they, they want to keep it this way. You know, it looks a lot different from Jimber and some of the places I've seen in Indonesia, but is there a reason why they kept it? Just for, uh, to preserve the culture maybe? Yes. Okay. But I guess, you know, 30, 40, 50 years ago, most of Singapore looked like this. Yes, yeah. Or in, in worse conditions from, from what I read. And this is your first time? First time. First time? <laughs> She's from Indonesia and she didn't even know there was a kampung here in Singapore. I mean, there's a lot less activity in this kampung than I've seen anywhere else in other kampungs. Usually you see everyone out on their front porches, you see kids riding around on bicycles, you see you know, just people out and about. It's pretty quiet around here. Okay. That looks like it just kind of comes back into this person's house. Hmm. Permisi! Permisi! Boleh liha liha saja! Yeah, it's so quiet around here. There's nobody outside. I haven't seen anybody. This says, welcome, but then it says, no photo taking. <laughs> You're welcome, but don't take any pictures. I guess so. I guess it's nap time. And so, I think this is the only place in Singapore where you're going to see, you know, houses like this, probably sidewalks like this. Everywhere else, I imagine it's going to be super nice. I was asking Daniel if there's like a Beverly Hills Singapore, and he said, there sure is. So, from the Kampung, we're going to go check out one of the nicest places in Singapore. Go see some of the houses. Uh, he was saying, if anyone lives in a house, that means they're super wealthy. Is that right? Yes, sir. Right. So if you're, if you can't afford to live in a standalone house, then you probably have a lot of money in Singapore. All right. And so I guess the kampung kind of wraps around all the way down here, and this is the last house over here. Again, there's nobody outside though. So. Uh, very quiet. So, it's, uh, I'm guessing this might be a little bit of a tourist attraction here in Singapore. Maybe people who do come here, they want to come check out what a kampung is like, what Singapore used to be like. Maybe they come here. Uh, I don't know. But, I'm guessing this is predominantly, uh, Chinese Malay. Kampung, but I mean, living in a kampung and you uh, you drive a Mercedes, <laughs> I think you're doing all right. <laughs> I think you're doing all right. No, uh, nobody driving Mercedes in the kampung I've been in. Nope. <coughs> What's his name? Wawan. Wawan? <coughs> like in Japanese Wawan? <coughs> Wawan. <coughs> Wawan. <coughs> okay. Kampung Lorong Buangkok. That's where we are. The last kampung in Singapore. So do you think the people that live here own the, the land, the property? They still own the land, yeah. Yeah? Actually the government, they want to, they want to buy off this land. Actually. The government wants to take it, but yes, they... Yes, but they don't want it. <laughs> I bet they're offered quite a bit of money. Yes. They're set for, that's why they're driving Mercedes and that's why they're driving. I bet they're doing extremely well. And they're like, no, I don't want to be put up in one of those apartment complexes over there, those big high rises. I like my small, you know, small village. Wow. This is all one house, one all house. one property. Wow. Well, you see all those nice cars in there? I'm sure it was hard to see, but. 
for me is that you can see it. Okay, so we made it down to Arab Street to grab some dinner. And, uh, yeah, a lot of this food looks like it has my name written all over it. It's uh, right across the street from the biggest mosque in Singapore. Let me show you this real quick. <laughs> okay. We're here at Victory, the best, what do we have, Muslim food. <laughs> All that looks good. Man, that looks good, that looks good. Hello. Hello. So I got to see how they, uh, they make the martabak. Very different from martabak. Martabak telur. Yeah, this is beef. Beef, It looks a lot heavier, a lot bigger. I mean, this process looks the same. Crack an egg in there, okay. Ooh, the cheese? Yeah, beef. Yeah. Sorry, what is that? And in here? I think this might be one of the best things I've ever had. I haven't even tasted it yet. Okay, there's the chicken. But this... Chicken with maybe onion. Onion. Yeah, onion. Cheese. It's onions. Onions. Yeah, that's good. 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 Wow. All different kinds. All different kinds. Then he's cracking an egg on top, pushes it around. Uh, Dude's getting his hands dirty. Let's see what else they're cooking up. They got a lot of chicken, maybe some fish. Cheers. Cheers. So nice to meet you guys. Nice and this is it. I've had lots of martabak, but I've never had martabak. Wow, looks like a pizza almost. Looks like a big pizza. This is deer? Beef. Okay, but they do have a deer one. And then this is migoreng, Indian style migoreng. A lot of food that I've never tried, or I've had similar versions of it, but not this kind. Ooh, I'm excited. Okay, let's dig in. I mean, the beef is kind of like sausage. It reminds me of the sausage you put on a pizza. Mm. Nice and crispy. So good. <laughs> it's so good. And this curry too is not too bad. There we go. Alright, thank you so much. See you around. Thank you. If I have time, I will definitely come back. Uh, Victoria. Some of the best food I've ever had. Best food I've ever had in Singapore. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. From here, we're going to go check out the F1 racing. So. Yeah, so when... Uh, are we crossing? Are we crossing? Okay. Oh, it's raining now too. So when... Daniel and his wife, when they picked me up, we were having lunch earlier, and they're like, oh yeah, by the way, do you want to go see the F1 race? And I was like, sure. Apparently, uh, they bought three tickets. His sister isn't here, and so they have an extra ticket. And so, lucky me. <laughs> we get to go see some F1 now. Awesome. And so that's gonna be a whole nother video. And so I'm gonna end this video here. Uh, thank you for joining us and
I'll see you in the next video. Peace.